During the Great Depression, there were many effects on people as well. One was eviction. People who couldn't pay their rent were often evicted or kicked out of their apartments. In 1930, 200,000 evictions occurred in New York City alone. In reaction, some communist activists organized an eviction resistance movement where protesters would physically move the furniture of evicted tenants back into their apartments. Um, this would result in battles with police, violence would often break out, and thousands of incidents like these occurred during the Great Depression. Another effect on people was that farms and houses were foreclosed. Now, during the 1920s, um, many farmers borrowed money from banks to buy more land or new machinery. And farmers pledged their assets, which was usually their land, as security on the loan from the bank. So if a farmer couldn't make the payments on a loan for their land, the bank would take back the asset, which is the land, and sell it to try and get back some of their money. In the 1920s, many loans were written when land values and crop prices were high. After the stock market crash, few people had the money to buy land and so land values went way down. When a bank had to foreclose and sell the land, they couldn't make up the difference. So banks would take all of the assets pledged to the loan. Families were often thrown off their farms and lost everything. The same thing happened with houses. When people couldn't pay the mortgage on their house, the bank would take possession of it. Most houses and farms were auctioned off at pretty cheap prices. As a result of unemployment and eviction and foreclosure, many people became homeless during the Great Depression. And camps began to be built on the outskirts of cities. People called these Hoovervilles. Uh, basically, people would construct shacks built from cardboard boxes or scrap wood. Um, residents called these places Hoovervilles because they pretty much blamed President Hoover for their situation. And they even began to name other things after Hoover, such as empty pockets turned inside out were Hoover flags, old newspapers used to keep warm were Hoover blankets. Finally, uh, we had migratory workers result of the Great Depression. Um, what, this, what this meant is when people lost their farms to foreclosure, they would often become migrant farmers. Um, more people lost their farms in the Great Depression as a result of drought and the Dust Bowl that occurred in the 1930s, and we'll talk more about that later. Thousands of people traveled from the Midwest to California, um, hoping that the climate and diversity of crops grown there would get them hired to do what they knew how to do, which was to farm. However, too many migrant farmers ended up moving to California and few found lasting work. This concludes our lecture, but we wouldn't want to miss the secret word of the day, which Lucy is going to tell you now. Lucy, the secret word is? Pineapple. Thanks, seventh graders.